the Jews or the Christians as friends. Or you will be considered one. And basically, God don't like ugly. They are the enemies of God. So why is Farrakhan always in a church? Why is he always trying to be friends with Jews? You contradicting yourself. And now, you friends with Ron L. Horror and Scientology and the boys. What's up with all that? But when you're a blind follower, whatever, because you're a blind follower. My relatives gave thousands of dollars to Louis Farrakhan, the Nation of Islam. And what do they have to show for it? They don't have nothing except talk. That's all. Blind followers. You want to get angry at me? You don't like the truth? I'm telling you the truth. The real truth, not your imagination. Clearly, your interpretations have produced no results. Because you're still deaf, dumb, and blind. You're deaf, dumb, and blind. Now you wear a bow tie. You're deaf, dumb, and blind. Now you're selling bean pie. You're deaf, dumb, and blind. And you threaten to kill other black people. And that's what you've done to Malcolm. And they still brag about it. Tell about Malcolm was a hypocrite. If Malcolm is a hypocrite, then Elijah Muhammad and Farrakhan was too. Because they came out of the Christian church. And they said, glory to Jesus. But then they turned on Jesus. They became a Judas and a Benedict Arnold. They became hypocrites. So what should be done to those who become a hypocrite when they once said, I love Jesus. Malcolm stopped following Elijah Muhammad, but he still held on to the Quran. So how was he a hypocrite? He just didn't want nothing else to do with you no more. Simple as that. You are a murderer and a killer. When you look at another black man, you got murder in your heart. Can't you see you are sick? To think like that. But. That is expected. Because the first slave owner. Was black. And you don't want to admit that. I'm not taking. White folks off the hook. Because they done what they done. But also at the same time. The reality and the real truth is. Your first slave master. And if it wasn't for the first slave master. The white man would have to take the full blame, but he can't because he learned what he learned from somebody that was black. He learned science, he learned mathematics, he learned philosophy, and he learned slavery from black, the African. He learned division, classism. Patriarchy, all those things. He learned it from watching the teacher, the one that raised this beast up out of the caves of Europe. They were black. And he watched his black father. And he see how it's done. You got to get yourself together. You got to get yourself together. You got to wonder why you hate black people so much. You've been taking our money all these years. And what you have you given the black community, unlike, <clears throat> unlike Elijah Muhammad. Elijah Muhammad created businesses all over this country. This nation of Islam, founded by a follower, not a leader, a follower. And the leader is dead. He no longer exists. Elijah Muhammad taught against following dead people. Now you have made Elijah Muhammad Christ. You have made him Jesus. You made
made him dead. He's a dead man. He's not here. What do you think the result going to be? The only reason why the nation of Islam is doing as well as it has done because of the entertainment, the entertainment value of Louis Farrakhan's voice. That's all. And you see what the result is. Because y'all blind followers, you're not like the B. Knowing what your role is. You're looking for somebody to follow instead of being a leader yourself. And he's separating himself from you. Because he don't want his blood mixed with your blood. But in a beast family, the blood is shared with everybody. Follow me. Follow, follow me. But nobody asks you to share leadership. Be your own leader. They want that glory to themselves. So when you look in the history books, it's all about them. They never talk about those who helped the queen. They always talk about what Farrakhan do. Farrakhan couldn't, could not have done anything without my help. I helped him. A whole lot of us, we don't get no credit for nothing. Now and then. He's the divine. It's his blood. Mixed with Elijah Muhammad's blood. But not like the bee. Shared blood. So it's up to you. What do you want? You want to keep following folks and be their damn slave? Or do you really want to be free? Once and for all. Not just black folks. None of you deserve to be a slave. And you wonder why Brother Farrakhan friends with Muammar Gaddafi or rich nation but his people poor and suffering. This your friend. And you know that this man doing this to his people. That should make you question all over the earth, there's an uprising. People tired of being somebody else's damn slave. So Muammar Gaddafi, all this oil, he will floor show and give some Muslims some money, but his own people, he don't give nothing. He wants them to be his slave. He lives good. And this man is Farrakhan's friend. You better think about 